The community of floating houses in Cedar Rapids is the site of some big machinery <laughs> right now. Yeah, a number <laughs> of those homes in Ellis mm -hmm. Harbor, they're getting fresh floats. KCRG TV 9's Victoria Wong shows us what this process entails. From moving a boathouse in order to have it lift up, to removing these barrels and replacing them with floats. This work is a community effort. Ellis Harbor Neighborhood Association tells me how everyone gets involved. We all just come together for each other, and today is a great example of that. Yeah, most of the people that are here helping, they already have their houses up to date. The Ellis Boat Harbor community met a couple months ago and identified which homes needed an update. Five boat houses needed to change these barrels with floats in order to meet Cedar Rapids regulations. The ones that have owned it since 08, uh, they are grandfathered in. Anyone who has built since 08 or sold since 08, they have a certain amount of time to yep. change these out. Costs came into play in order to have this done in a timely manner. For only one boathouse, it costs anywhere from four to eight thousand dollars. That was the main reason why we decided to kind of all figure out a date that would work for everybody because it, it was a huge cost savings. Just depending on yep. whether you have a single story, double story, because weight is the main factor right. when you're buying floats. Bill Fletcher had his home done Thursday. It's a process. It cost him around $6,000. I think this is an incredible upgrade to all the homes that are out here. It makes them safer. In Cedar Rapids, Victoria Wong, KCRG TV 9 News.